Hey guys, it's Danny. Now, I know you may be getting tired of hearing me talk about the pizza struggle here in New Jersey, but my friends, the struggle is real and pizza's super popular here, so I'm just gonna keep on coming up with some clean and delicious pizza alternatives for myself and my family, and then I'm gonna share them with you. So for this quick bite, I'm showing you how to make my clean and delicious eggplant pizzas. So I'm gonna start by slicing my eggplant into half inch slices. A medium sized eggplant should get you between 10 and 12 slices. Then I like to salt my eggplant. So I lay it out on a dish towel and then I sprinkle it with a little bit of kosher salt on each side. Salting the eggplant helps to remove the water and a little bit of the bitterness from the eggplant so that once it's cooked up, we can be ensured that our eggplant is gonna be nice and tender. So what you're gonna notice after about 20, 30 minutes is that it's gonna have little pools of water on top of it. Just pat that off with a paper towel and your eggplant is ready to go. From here, I'm gonna preheat my oven to 425 degrees and then I'm going to lay a wired rack on top of a rimmed baking sheet and then line up my eggplant. Spray them with a little bit of cooking spray, and then I'll season them with a little dried oregano, garlic powder, and pepper. Now you're not gonna need any more salt since we've already salted the eggplant. Then I'm just gonna pop them into the oven for 15 minutes. After the 15 minutes, I'm just gonna flip them, season the opposite side, and then put them back in the oven for another 10 to 15 minutes or until they're nice and tender. Now this is a great time of the year to experiment with eggplant recipes since they're in season. One of my most popular recipes is my eggplant parmesan. And if you want more eggplant recipe ideas, make sure you come on over to the blog, Clean and Delicious, because I'm gonna be sharing five of my favorites from around the web. Once the eggplant is tender, I'm just gonna to top each one with a dollop of tomato sauce, then a sprinkle of parmesan cheese, and about a tablespoon of shredded mozzarella cheese. Once I've got them all done, this is gonna go back into the oven for another 10, 12 minutes until they're heated through and the cheese is melted over the top. Oh my gosh, this looks and smells amazing. The eggplant is nice and tender, and then you have that melted cheese with the garlic and the oregano. Seriously, who needs a regular pizza pie? This is a delightful alternative. I like to serve this up with a nice, big, beautiful green salad and call it dinner. And when you guys give this recipe a try, make sure that you take a picture and then tag me on Instagram and on Facebook and let me see the deliciousness that you're whipping up in your very own kitchens. And if you guys like this recipe, then please like it and don't forget to subscribe for new recipes. If you guys wanna print this recipe, head on over to cleananddelicious.com where you can print this and all my recipes. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Danny Spees, and I'll see you next time with some more clean and deliciousness. Cheers. Mm, this looks and smells amazing. Who needs regular pizza pie? You know what I'm saying? And when you try this recipe, make sure that you take some pictures so I can see what you're whipping. Bam. Mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> Are you ready? Are you